In Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink, the main point that I took out of the book is that there are no bad teams, just bad leaders. In Navy SEAL Hell Week, they do a training. All the SEALs get into teams. They have to get in these rafts and paddle out into the ocean amongst freezing cold waters and massive surf. They have to go around a buoy, come back into land, and as you know, it pays to be a winner. If your boat crew wins the race, you get to take the next race off and get some much needed recovery. There were six boat crew and boat crew six was winning every race and boat crew one was finishing last every race. They made a decision to change the leader from boat crew six over to boat crew one and the leader from boat crew one over to boat crew six. And what happened? Boat Crew 1 started to win the races and Boat Crew 6 started to finish last. You see, there are no bad teams, just bad leaders. And last week on our Mental Performance Daily podcast, we talked about a concept from Urban Meyer's book, Above the Line, about the performance pathway and how leadership drives culture and culture drives behavior and it's the behaviors that are going to drive your results. And as a leader, as someone who takes extreme ownership, you are responsible for the results of your team, of your organization, much more than just yourself. If you're a leader, if you're a teacher, if you're a parent, if you're a coach, and you have people that aren't in line with what it is that you're trying to get across as the leader, don't get furious, get curious. Don't get frustrated, get fascinated, and find a way. Because too many people go looking to find an excuse instead of finding a way. Let's focus less on the problem and more on the solution. And that only happens when you take extreme ownership. Looking forward to bringing you more from Jocko Willink. Looking forward to bringing you more from Jocko Fuel as we dominate the day.